Welcome back to another Species Spotlight. I'm Miss Nicole here in the historic Butterfly Garden and today I'm highlighting a species that might sound familiar to you. It's the Dwarf Poinciana and if you're wondering why that sounds familiar, probably because the Poinciana tree is actually the city flower of Key West and there is even an elementary school named Poinciana. But the Dwarf Poinciana, which is behind me, is a slightly smaller version. Now, neither Poinciana species are native to Key West. The Dwarf Poinciana is native to Mexico, and it's actually the official flower of the Barbados. But the reason that this species can grow so well here in the Keys is because this species cannot tolerate frost at all. And here at the Key West Tropical Forest and Botanical Garden, we are the only frost-free botanical garden in the continental United States. So we're lucky enough to have this species to admire. And there's always some great pollinators around here. As I mentioned, it's in the historic butterfly garden. So let's take a closer look to examine the flowers, the leaves, and the seed pods. You'll see that this species is actually pretty tall. It can grow to about eight to 12 feet tall and 10 to 13 feet wide. So it's almost like a large shrub or small tree. It's also evergreen, meaning that the leaves stay green all year round. It also blooms flowers year round as well. And you can see the beautiful flowers are an orange and yellow coloration. They're like a smaller version of the poinciana's you might see out in town or even here at the garden. And then they have legumes, which is their seed pod. It's in the pea family, so it's pea-shaped. They're this bright green color when they're first growing, and then when the seeds are ready, they turn this brown color. They're not very large, about the size of my hand. So this species is pretty beautiful, and it attracts lots of different wildlife different butterflies and bees come to pollinate. Thanks for joining us for another Species Spotlight. See you next week.